this is the other side of my life. This is this is like I said, I kind of use this for a, a little mental therapy, just to just to unwind. Um, I love the animals. I love animals. I love the outdoors. Love farms. Like I said, I, I worked for my uncle on a farm as a kid growing up for for several summers. Um, really got attached to the the farm, the animals, uh, the outdoors. Um, and it's just neat to watch things grow um, from little to to full size. My dad didn't do have a lot to do with farm stuff and I love farm stuff. So on the weekends or when my dad was not available or not, you know, when he was busy, I'd be up here helping my uncle. So it's something I always wanted to do. And then of course I became a cop at when I turned 20. And that's the, obviously that's all I've ever done for the past 27 and a half years. But um, always had the farm thing in me. And uh, they're all looking at you now because they're, uh, they're wondering, who the heck is this guy? Sheriff Rob Maciel has always had an interest in farming. It all began when he was a young kid, when he would help out on his uncle's farm doing various chores. Now he's got his own chores to do and several animals to take care of as well. The first big cow there, the red one you're looking at now, that's, uh, that's Noah. Noah is a red Angus. This is Paisley. Um, that's actually one of Robbie's cows. Paisley, is, uh, Paisley will be with us forever. We'll, we'll use her. She'll be part of the, the reason our herd gets bigger. Then, of course, this is Jack. Jack is our donkey. Jack's, Jack's waiting for his grain. Um, so we'll go grab Jack's grain before he has a heart attack. Uh, Got a couple rabbits here. Yeah. Uh, got them separated because one's a boy and one's a girl. So we, uh. we're not quite ready for that. This little one, her, her, uh, her mom passed away during pregnancy. Not here, but from the farm we got her from. Um, so we feed this one a milk replacer. It's a powdered, um, it's a powdered drink that has the same nutrients as uh, the natural mother's milk would. She's really cool, you know, and it's a beautiful animal. They all are actually. That's Winnie. Winnie's uh, Winnie's full of energy. Winnie's very routine. She, as you can tell, she's a little spooked by it. She doesn't like strangers, but she's good. I mean, she's a good girl. Our big cow down here. Um, you know, as a joke, we named her Irene, and uh, a little story behind that. But she's the she's the boss here. She looks forward to her hay. She's uh, she's due to have a calf in uh, early summer, probably around probably around June. <laughs> Macaroni and cheese. Wow. Some. Uh, Roasted potatoes, some broccoli, some waffles, and some provolone cheese. Wow, that's better than that. So, <laughs> and they love to eat. I'll toss this in there for them, and then if you want, you can stand on this bale and get a good shot of them eating here. <laughs> They're eagerly... They're uh, really neat. They were, like I said, when we got those, there's two males and a female. When we got them, they were probably this big. About they were about that big, about seven months ago. So they grow fast, and uh, they're actually really easy to take care of. Um, they get a bad rap because you know people think pigs are dirty. They uh, in their pen, as you can see, it's pretty well organized. They eat on one end, they sleep sort of on one end, and they go to the bathroom in a totally different spot. Right now we got ten cows, uh, three pigs, uh, the donkey. We've got chickens, turkeys, rabbits, guinea hens. I'll show you the baby turkeys and uh, the chickens here in a second. Here under a heat lamp. I'll turn the light on, but if you want to take a peek for right now, they're, just, they're resting under the heat lamp. And they're, uh, they're only a few weeks old. But um, we're pretty sure that two of them are males and two are females. We know we have at least two males, two toms in there. Because when, he's up, when they're up walking around, they'll actually open up their feathers like they're strutting around like the big turkeys do. And, and they're not big turkeys. But um, we're going to give them some food. Oh, he wanted to get out. Watch out, buddy. They're eating like crazy. They're growing like crazy. They were tiny just, uh, just a short time ago. And they grow fast. They'll be full-size turkeys, you know, in, a, in just a few months. Um, but uh, that's something new we wanted to try. So we got a little bit of everything going here. Um, there's the rooster and the chickens in there. We'll go inside. That's the old milk house that was originally with this farm. We kind of converted it into a, a small chicken coop. And uh, you can see the rooster there. He's checked. He's standing over all his uh, ladies. And um, but, uh, but they're waiting for their food. They lay their eggs during the day. So when we come out to feed them in the afternoon, um, they'll be somewhere between, we get between, eight and 12 eggs a day. 
Um, but they eat both layer food, and then this is this is a uh, what they call scratch grain. It kind of uh, gives them something. It's a, it's a nutritious thing. Kind of gives them something to work on during the day. So we'll go in and visit the chickens here. The chickens are kind of my wife's project. She uh, she definitely takes care of the chickens and she babies them a little bit. You can step right in here just so they don't run out on us. But as you can see, uh, my wife has a bunch of different breeds of chickens. There's like five or six different kinds. And uh, at night, they roost up on the on the bar. That's where they sleep in the dark. And when they lay their eggs, they lay their eggs in these nesting boxes underneath. They're actually waiting to go outside, but we're not going to let them out today because it's still kind of dark. Um, and like I said, uh, um, there's there's definitely some threats to them from the wild outside. So we like to make sure it's daylight and that we're around when uh, when they do go out. And then typically what happens, one, one last pass before I head out, I'll scrape underneath them, make sure uh, they're nice and clean. Oh, but. I mean, they're pretty lucky. They have a lot of room to move in this barn because if this barn were full, the cows would all kind of be lined up and, you know, and they'd be stuck in one position. But it's kind of neat. They have a lot of freedom, a lot of area to move around. Got the flag flying. My dad was, uh, when my dad was alive, um, you know, he was uh, obviously taught my sisters and I uh, a lot about patriotism. My dad served in World War II in the, in the U.S. Marines. And um, so, you know, my dad flew a flag in front of his house every day. I remember my whole life growing up. So kind of when, you know, my wife and I bought our first house and, you know, we've always had a flag out front. Same thing here. Obviously, uh, you know, farming is a huge part of America and obviously farming goes back hundreds of years. Um, without farmers, we would have no food. And by no means am I a big farmer at all. I'm, I'm kind of, you know, I consider myself a hobby farmer, although sometimes it's, it's a little bit more than that. It's a neat feeling to be able to, you know, have a whole bunch of animals, watch them grow. And like I said, it's kind of, uh, I kind of joke around, it's kind of my mental therapy because my job during the day is a tad bit crazy, um, chaotic at times. You know, I love to help people. I'm around people all day long. But at the same time, everybody needs a little bit of, uh, like I said, a little bit of break where, you, you know, a, a little break where you can get away from, uh, from the everyday stuff. And uh, I certainly get that here. And one of my favorite things as a kid, I always loved tractors. And, you know, I, I, uh, uh, I have my own now, as you can see. And um, we've, got a, we've got a load of manure there that's got to go out. And uh, that's kind of where we'll end off today. And again, uh, like I said, it's just uh, hopefully, you know, the folks that, that don't know a lot about farming, you know, just take a minute to really appreciate what farmers do. Whether it's Oneida County Sheriff Rob Maciel you're supporting or the farmer that lives down the street, always remember that without farmers, there's no food. Be sure to thank a farmer you know today. Do so we can, cows like big frog? They do. They do. They actually listen to Polly every morning and they, they, <laughs> they, they kind of get a chuckle.